Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to another blender tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be creating the spill off effect using particle system and loss simulation. So let's get started. So I have my uh, scene over here and for this scene I have two layers. I mean there's a peel off layer as you can see and underneath this peel off layer there's a bottom our uh, original mesh. So I'm just gonna delete this uh, top layer, meaning the cloth. So X to delete it. Oh, sorry. So X to delete the top layer, and we are left with the bottom. So I'm just gonna uh, duplicate this. So Shift D and right click on the screen so that it uh, you know doesn't move any anywhere else. And uh, I'm just gonna go back to Object View, and we're gonna add our first modifier. So just go ahead to modify and uh, remove all of this modifier. We don't need that. And uh, we'll add our first modifier. It's going to be our displaced modifier. And I'm just going to press it. And as you can see, our bottle becomes like a balloon. And uh, now we're just going to set the mid level to zero and the strength to really, really low. So 0 0.0708. So that uh, if I turn on X ray mode, you can see this is our original mesh and this is our top layer so we want to create something like that so after you've done that uh, we're gonna go to make sure the mesh is selected i mean the duplicated object is selected and we're gonna go to mesh i mean particle system and press on plus icon and we get something like that and i'm just gonna uh, set the frame start and end to zero and the lifetime to whatever your timeline is so let's say 500 for example and then and then i'm gonna decrease my number to uh, 500 it depends on your computer if you have a powerful computer you can bump it up uh, or uh, if you have a low spec potato pc uh, it's better if you stay stick with 100 so once you've done that under physics you just set the physics type to none and under render you just have to set it to uh, none and the viewport display set it as point and set the uh, size to 0 0.01 or so so that you get this really small emitter and under field base turn off gravity all the way down so that our particles doesn't fall down and then we're gonna add a we're gonna add another modifier which is gonna be explode modifier and once you add explode make sure you uh, check this cut edges so that we get the cuts on the vertices so if i just uncheck this you can see our mesh is uh, uniform and if i just check this you can see all these cuts so that's what we want to achieve and after you've done that just gonna go to make sure the duplicated object is selected and go to object and under convert you just have to select it mesh so that it converts into mesh and applies all the modifier and uh, then we're gonna go to our uh, physics tab and under physics tab we're gonna add a cloth modifier and for this tutorial i've experiment experimented with this uh, cloth so for me these settings work best so in your case it's gonna be something else so you just have to experiment with your own uh you know setup so for me i'll just set the college steps to one or two and the speed multiplier to 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 and the vertex mass to 0 0.1 and the air viscosity to 0 0.3 and i'm just gonna turn off the stiffness and damping also and decrease the bending to 0 0.05 and uh, i'm just gonna go to uh, collisions and turn on self collision and make sure the gravity is set to zero so that our floor doesn't fall down make sure you save it and then you can come over here and set the desirable frame rate and just uh, you're gonna bake it so for now i'm gonna set it to 100 frames and just bake it so as you can see now if i play my mesh is gonna be going like that it's gonna go crazy like this because 
so to control the uh, peel off kind of thing we're gonna use the proximity modifier i mean it's not a modifier actually it's a geometry nodes kind of thing so we're gonna use that jump you know proximity so make sure you select the uh, duplicated object go to edit tab press a to select all and then the uh, data we're just gonna press plus over here and click on assign so that the this thing is assigned and uh, make sure you have an empty object like so and i have animated empty objects so that uh, so that it goes through the bottle like this like this as you can see it's going through and once you uh, have an empty object like that uh, make sure you select the duplicated object go to modifier and add a uh, modifier called edit vertex weight proximity node this one and select the vertex group you just created and the target object to the empty just gonna uh, animate and under proximity mode set it to geometry and uh, you just have to play with the lowest and highest so for me it was 0.9 and uh, highest was 1 and set the type to smooth and if you go to uh, weight paint you can see we get something like this so wherever there is blue our uh, cloth is gonna be peeled and wherever, wherever there is red is gonna be stayed intact so that's what we wanna achieve so it's gonna go like this and to actually see this working you well, have to make sure that the weight uh, vertex weight pro proximity is above the cloth and then in the cloth uh, thing you just have to go to shape and the pin group you have to pin that group and then i'll just make it to uh, 250 or so i set the speed multiplier to one so that it bakes faster and also i'll set the speed multiplier to one and I'll just bake this. So now that our bake is done, if you see, it's just gonna go like this. And uh, as you can see, I have a force field over here. That's why it's ripping through like this. So I'm just gonna disable the force field. And then if you bake it again, you get that beautiful effect we saw early on in this tutorial, the render. So I'm just gonna, to demonstrate that, I'm just gonna bake it again. So once you've done that, you get the uh, peel off effect like this. So that's how you create the uh, peel off effect in Blender. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, please give it a sub as it, you know, appreciates me to do content like this. And also let me know if you want a lighting tutorial for this thing. Thanks for watching, guys.